So being a GM technician, I never saw this coming. Despite my opinion and against my objection, in hindsight, my apprentice never should have been assigned to and cut loose on this job. This is a 2014 Ford Fusion that suffered engine damage during service. And she doesn't crank over. Well, it does a little bit. And then it stops, cold in its tracks. We pulled the timing cover off to see what was going on because it sounds like it's out of time when you're trying to crank. And it drove in. Okay, so I never got a chance to get any before shots of this thing. Uh, my boy put a timing cover on this, or resealed the timing cover because it was leaking. We go to start it when we're all done, and it turns over a couple times and then just kind of stops. So I had him pull it back apart, and I don't really know what I was looking for. Everything looked okay. So we pulled the spark plugs out. And I just wanted to turn the crankshaft over just to uh, just to see everything, if everything was turning freely. And what I ended up finding is that if I turn this valve train assembly, it is spinning free of the crankshaft. Look at that. Move that light down some. You're shiny. There you go. Not on the crankshaft. There you go. Look at that. I bet the only thing holding this on was the crank pulley. And when he took it off, it broke surface tension and now it just kind of free spins and does whatever it wants, which is nothing. On the other side too. Crankshaft's turning, the valve train is not. This is a new one for me. Wow. I think we have some total destruction happening here. Okay, so it's been a day, and uh, I did a little bit of researching on this. And my little buddy in the shop was doomed to fail from the get-go. It appears that this crank the sprocket down here is free-floating and requires that the harmonic balancer be installed, which creates some pressure that way. And that thing is maintained by friction. This engine requires some cam locking tools and the engine to be set up at TDC on number one before this assembly. And that's where we failed. Didn't realize it, like I said, until everything went back together. And when we went to crank it after reassembly of the timing cover, one of the pistons came up and smacked a valve. So, looks like the shop's going to eat this one alive for lunch for a month. Let's get an engine. There we go. It lives. Kind of close.
found where my engine is. some adjustments to forklift. All right. So this is our new four cylinder that's going to go in that focus that uh, ended up with a bent valve. Not bad either, we found this bad boy with 40,000 miles on it from LKQ for 400 bucks. something a little creepy. There's a creek running through the middle of our dealership. attached a lot. Take those bolts all the way out. Which ones? All of them. The ones that are holding it in. Remember those big giant ones? Yeah, those? I took both. Oh, 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 sorry. Yeah, no, you didn't. Look, look at all these bolts. You can take all that shit off. Yeah, it's all that's got to go. Oh, those? Oh, yeah. okay. Those ones I did not take. Yeah. My bad. Even. Go ahead. Stop. Go ahead. Alright, go ahead. Uh, let me take 
Yeah. <laughs>